Ladies and gentlemen, we are back with some Spectrum series action. And today we are going to look at a Terran versus Terran. Now, if you know that logo, you know who that player might be. This is a 5.1k Terran on the ladder as our blue player spawning in the bottom right side of Oceanborn. We are looking at the main base of Ancient Regime's Nihad. Also, going by the name of Gaspar Lotzi, which is a, who's a Hungarian celebrity, but that's a different thing. He always has these meme names. We love him for him. We love him for it, so it's no big deal. But the player that he's going up against, he is somebody that you might actually know. He's off racing with his 5.6k Terran, our red player for the Shopify Rebellion. This is Lambo. At least, at least this should be Lambo. Um, he has the Lambo tag, so I haven't looked at it. He had said this was Lambo. I believe him. I don't think there's like a reason to to like lie about it or anything. Um, if this is not Lambo, then it's still a decent MMR turn. So let's see. Let's see how this is going to unfold as we're going to have the double gas opener on both sides and reapers are going to be started right away second depot is made uh, at the jumping spot for Nihad. lambo is going to make it at the ramp it's not a mistake but you can see that this is quite risky because you have no vision of this so if a couple reapers just jump up or if you have um proxy reapers against yourself then you're pretty much in a bit of trouble. Lambo is going to scout around and Nied is going to move across with this Reaper. The Rapper will spit some some hot bars, hot 16 challenge incoming for, for this Reaper. Let's see if he manages to scout anything. All right. Oh, I don't know who shot first, honestly. Oh, oh my God. Oh, 360 no scope. That was actually epic. It, it, it literally killed him midair. Oh no. <laughs> that's that's so frustrating. It was like one pixel away from escaping, I believe. But it is what it is. Nihad draws first blood. In the meantime, uh, we had the factories bumping out cyclones on both sides. So I kind of see this quite often. So it's no longer uh, Hellions. It's more like uh, Cyclone, the Cyclone, since the Cyclone meta started. So, you can still reactor it, although. Oh, Nia is going to try and go for this SCV. He's gonna get it. Okay, so he went down. He's his Reaper, and. Well, Reapers have been killed, but it is what it is. Happens to the best. Lambo is going to take his third gas at the natural. I'm just going to produce... I want to know what he's producing marines. <sighs> Sorry, I had to sneeze. Uh, try to make it as silent as possible. Now everything hurts. <laughs> My whole body just, you know, got a huge bump. I didn't find my... Uh, my budget stream deck to mute myself. I didn't want to like sneeze all over the, the microphone. Anyways, two cyclones against a reaper and a cyclone. So so far, three reapers, two SCVs, and a single reaper went down on the side of Nied, respectively on the side of Lambo. Okay. Double cyclone drop coming across the map, and Lambo is going to push through with with tanks and and marines, or or at least it looks like it, but. Not sure if that's going to be the case. Lambo is going for the interference matrix. And he had actually changed trajectory, which is quite nice on his side, I believe. Let's see, he's gonna go for that tech lab on the side uh, on the starboard. Okay, drops the two cyclones out. Let's see if he can actually do something about it. Interference matrix is not yet finished on the side of Lambo, so it's going to have a bit of uh, trouble. Right, more SCVs have fallen. I mean, Nied is taking stuff bit by bit, right? So he he has to 
he has to make things count because obviously he is uh interference ranger because it's going to be a lot later and his ravens also started producing a lot later oh let's see can he actually just take down that cyclone it's going to manage to do so lambo was kind of uh, negligent of that that fact that there's two cyclones attacking his cyclone he targeted the medevac or at least tried to do so i believe in order to actually deny further drops and just micro potential okay could any of those ravens nope they're not going to go down instead one cyclone is going to fall so far this is quite an action-packed game lambo on the defensive me head on the offensive double ebay coming up for lambo and both players have the third bases more racks is coming up for for Nihad and the double ebay as well so they're pretty much mirroring the whole uh the whole thing okay sees the third base timing so doesn't really have to worry about it it's not going to send out the third command center yet i believe it's going to try to do something more okay nicely done here just taking down one more scv and just disturbing lambo's peace once again but lambo might actually be able to just uh hold on to this he has a tank in the main he has one tank uh at the third location so he's probably going to siege that up over there and there's a third tank somewhere oh there's a tank at the ramp Now, four tanks on the side of Nihad, so it should be fine. And a couple of Raxes coming up. So, both players working with three Raxes. Trying to figure out if there's any kind of deviation in the build orders, but both players are going for the third command centers being landed. Nihad is a bit ahead um, in terms of uh, that third command center energy gathering, or that orbital command, rather. So, you can actually drop a couple of mules, a couple of scans a bit faster than lambo can so finally we're going to have stim started on the side of Nihad. uh lambo already has his stim finished so he is going to be ahead on it so if if combat shield finishes which is going to be faster than stim then lambo can just move out in my opinion do we have armory on the side of lambo no and by the looks of it there's not going to be a plus one uh infantry armor which is quite weird in my opinion because he has two ebays i don't know what happened there probably just didn't have the money and, and forgot to like re it again happens to the best i suppose okay one one is going to finish on the side of Nihad, and i'm curious if he's going to start two two right away or not uh, doesn't look to be the case because he's actually uh, dropping two extra raxes. Stim is going to finish relatively soon. And he doesn't have combat shield yet. On the other hand, Lambo has finally started plus one um, infantry armor. Has the armory close to completion. 2 2 has started for Niet. But now the. Okay. Oh, it does have Stim. He's gonna have stim just now. Combat shoot also started. Now he can actually stim. Oh, and this is beautiful. Interference matrix is on the side of Lambo. Uh, sorry, on the side of the end. And Lambo will have to tap out. And just for clarity, let's just look at the the last few seconds of this fight because this was absolutely crucial. Like it was in the nick of time. These Marines don't have stim, and Lambo will actually push in at this location. And it's going to move in. And this is beautiful how Nied actually has these tanks in position. Huge interference matrixes on both sides, actually. Lambo still has one tank that actually DPSs, but Nied actually has two in the back line. And now he actually moves forward. He just snipes all the tanks. And the great stim forward will take the game for Nied. There you have it. Even the instant replay. Well, this was a short one, but a fun one. Actually, for TVT, I think it was one of the the better ones that I casted so far on the Mousecast channel. If you also enjoyed it, be sure to hit that sub button and also that like button. Share it with your friends because we have more stuff coming. All right. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Cheers.